Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting beer review and another killer beer from uh, Rheinland Pfalz. So, uh, you know, those of you who know your uh, German geography and know that it's west, the western part of uh, the country. And uh, I love killer beer, uh, as you might know, a great, fantastic beer style, the unfiltered old style killer beer, German killer beer. Uh, it's always right time for a killer beer in my opinion. This is coming from the Koblenz uh, town, uh, town called Koblenz, in, uh, it's the third largest town in Rheinland Pfalz, the state Rheinland Pfalz. And uh, the brewery's name was before called Königsbacher, and uh, then it was uh, renamed Koblenz. So, and uh, nowadays, this uh, brewery is owned by Karlsberg Brauerei, which is one of the largest uh, brewery groups in, in Germany, it seems like. Uh, but I'm gonna give you the history about um, Koblenz so, uh, Brauerei um, and also speak a little bit about this uh, killer beer. And uh, it's not having the Koblenz or brand, but uh, they've been choosing another uh, brand name for this specific uh, beer style that they're brewing, the killer beer. Uh, their pills, for example, is uh, being called uh, uh, simply Koblenz or Pils. But this is called Sischke Kellerbeer. And um, <clears throat> since I'm having another beer from uh, the Karlsberg brand, uh, I'm gonna speak about the, the history of that brewery in uh, that upcoming video. So I'm taking the, um, <clears throat> the Koblenz or Brauerei or Königsbacher Brauerei history in uh, this review. So this is what the uh, the bottle looks like, which is looking very nice in my opinion. You see it has the Bügelverschlossung, which is a good thing of course. Shows that the brewery cares about uh, keeping the beer fresh, which this is helping with. And also it's a little bit funnier to open up with a pop style, uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah, nice looking bottle in my opinion. Traditional, naturfrisch, ungefiltert. Sischke uh, Killer Beer Original. So, this gives a really nice impression to me. Shows a little bit of an old style that they're caring about the, the quality of the beer instead of making modern label. Still, it looks very nice in my opinion. There's the back label also, of course. Um, and yeah, it's of course um, unfiltered, uh, which is what a Killer Beer is. I'm not gonna speak too much about what uh, this beer style killer beer is because I've been doing it before in my other reviews about killer beer so you can um, go back and watch those videos if you're interested about um, about knowing more about that um, this one Sischke killer beer gives a real nice impression to me as I mentioned uh, it says here on the bottle, it's also 4.8 ABV, I should mention that, of course. Uh, Naturfrisch und ungefiltert. Ein durch und durch uriger Biertyp, ungefiltert, hefetrüb und daher lebendig, spritzig und naturfrisch im Geschmack. Gebraut nach dem deutschen Reinheitsgebot, ein echtes, frische Produkt. Bier, Zutaten, Wasser, Gerstenmalz, Hopfen, Extrakt, Hopfen, Hefe. Flasche bitte unverschlossen zurück. Hergestellt von Koblenz or Brauerei GmbH under Königsbach Koblenz. Um, Sischke DE, link to the brewer's website. I can um, give you that link also in the description box below as I used to do. Uh, nice colors also on the, la on the label and the bottle, in my opinion. Gives a nice impression and I have high expectations on that one. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I really love Killer Beer, so I bet this one is going to be really great. Um, some uh, history about the brewery. The uh, Koblenz Brewery, formerly called the Königsbacher Brewery, is a brewery in Koblenz, which is managed by Koblenz Brauerei GmbH. The traditional company started in 1689 with the brewing of beer in the old brewery in the old town of Koblenz. In 1885, the company was relocated to the Königsbach, which flows into the Rhine, River in the south south of the city. 
the Königsbach Brewery has been part of the Carlsberg Group of companies since 1992. As of January 1st, 2010, Bitburger Holding took over the national sales on the brand rights of the Königsbacher and Nette Edelpils varieties, but the international brand and sales rights still belong to Carlsberg. On January 1st, 2012, Carlsberg sold the brewery on the Königsbach to private individuals from Koblenz. Uh, the uh, Koblenz uh, brewery is located in the Stolzenfels district. The former name Königsbacher was derived from the water already mentioned, which flows into the Rhine near the brewery. Federal Road 9 leads directly past the brewery. It also has its own railway operations center on the left bank of the Rhine called Königsbach, Kapellen Stolzenfels. There is another track connected to the Rhine side track, which um, trains can be loaded, uh, on which trains can be loaded. The uh, first um, brewery was founded in 1689 on the old brewery in the old town of Koblenz in the former Rathaus Monreal. Beer was uh, brewed independently by Koblenz cells. The basis was the beer privilege of Elector Lotta von Metternich from 1608, in which the city of Koblenz was given the right to produce beer itself. After the French occupation of Koblenz, Johann Stahl took over the brewery in 1814. In 1884, Josef Tillmann bought the Alte Brauhaus and in 1885 founded the Bierbrauerei Josef Tillmann. He moved the production site to the current location on Königsberg in the south of Koblenz. In uh, 1900, the company changed its name to Königsbacher Brauerei AG and in the same year acquired the Prümsche Brauerei in Niedermendig. This was followed in 1913 by the purchase of the uh, Nassauer Union Bra Brewery in Nassau, um, Lahn, and in 1938 the acquisition of the Jibubsa Brewery for Nis in Weizenturm. The latter had acquired the brewing rights of the brewery's Leifeld in, uh, Anders, in Andernach, Foltz in Dierdorf, Masson in Hillesheim, and the brewery of the brothers community in Neuwied between uh, 1914 and 1923 and incorporated them into the brewery at the Nette. In uh, 1965 the Königsbach brewery bought the Gebreu Fuchs Kirschberger Brauhaus in Kirschberg, Hunsrück, and in 1971 the majority in Hirsch Brauerei AG in Düsseldorf. The tank house built by Königsbacher in 1970 is one of the largest in Europe. In 1974, a fully automated filling plant of, for stainless steel drums was commissioned, the first of its kind in Germany, and in um, 1974, an own sewage treatment plant was also put into operation. The connection to the corporate group of Carl Carlsberg Brewery followed in 1992. Since 1997, the cute Edelpils um, has been brewed in the Königsbacher. In, 19, in 2010, Bitburger Holding took over the sales and brand rights of the beer brands Königsbacher and Nette Edelpils. However, the uh, production facility remained at the uh, brewery in Koblenz, which continued to belong to Carlsberg. There should also be brewed and filled beers that were previously produced in Carlsberg Brewery in Saint-Vernay, France, and uh, were intended for foreign market markets. The Sischke brand also remained with Carlsberg. On January 1st, 2012, Carlsberg sold the brewery to the Königsbach together with the Sischke brand to Egon Hackmann, Egon Heckmann, managing partner of Renser Mineralbrunnen, and to Isabel Schulte-Wiesermann, who is a lawyer. 
the two owners founded the Koblenz Brauerei GmbH. The contracts with the Bitburger Brewery on the brand and distribution rights uh, remained valid. The beers from Koblenz Brauerei GmbH were already available in stores from December 7. These beers are marketed under the name Koblenz and are available as pills or as wheat. The corporate structure of Königsbacher Brauerei GmbH and company KG has changed significantly since 2010. Since 1992, the company has been part of the Carlsberg group of companies. In 2010, he sold the brand and distribution rights of Königsbacher Brauerei GmbH and company KG for the beers with the brand names Königsbacher and Nette to the Bitburger Brewing Group. On January 1st, 2012, Carlsberg also sold the brewing house in Koblenz to private investors. That's some history about this brewery. Uh, quite long history and interesting history of this. Uh, this uh, can be coming from this uh, Koblenz or, or uh, Königsbacher uh, brewery in Rheinland Pfalz. Uh, also connections to Carlsberg and Bitburger and connections to many different breweries actually. So this one is going to be interesting to try in my opinion. Really great with uh, a killer beer finally. Um, and about this specific beer it's possible to read the following. The quaint fresh beer specialty. Unfiltered yeast, cloudy and naturally fresh in taste. Sischke is a Thoroughly quaint beer specialty brewed according to the German purity law and its traditional flip top bottle friends of the flop with will find an original beautiful piece of beer culture in two delicious varieties. A quaint beer type um, through and through. Sischke, Sischke Original, natural fresh Keller beer. Sischke Original is a naturally cloudy and unfiltered Pilsner Brauart beer. It gets its special lively character on the one hand from the yeast and the high CO2 content, on the other hand from the pleasant original Wort content of 11.3% and alcohol content of 4.8 volume. This fine dry lager beer impresses with its mild taste and characteristic pale color. Sischke Original stands for Hopfi Carefree Conviviality authentic fresh experiences as well as pure joy of life and enjoyment. Uh, there is also a Sischke Dunkel uh, Kellerby. But uh, this is their uh, original which is gonna be... Uh, I mean it's... it's um, the best one to start with in my opinion. It's, just, it's the normal one. And for me personally I often prefer pale beers instead of Dunkels. Uh, I, but I'm open about all German bear styles. Uh, one last look at the label before op opening it up. The Sischke Kellerbier Original Naturtrüb from uh, Koblenz or Königsbacher Brauerei in Rhineland Pfalz. Um, so uh, with that said, let's open this one up. The Sischke Kellerbier. Nice plop there, and uh, pour it up. Looks nice, doesn't it? With a uh, very pale. Uh, yellow cloudy color uh, maybe the palest killer beer I've been uh, having this far also it looks really really nice with all the bubbles rises up I can show it closer to you and a nice white foam head rises up above the edge just the way it should be you see all the bubbles right here I suppose looks really really nice very many small bubbles let's see if there's if there's something left that's the way to do it. You also, as you maybe could notice, I did swirl the bottle since it's Hefe in this Kellerbeel. Uh, and that's the, the way you need to do it because you need to make the yeast become a part of the very gun to get the right taste. Also you see the very beautiful look of it. 
can show it closer to you right here. Very cloudy and nice in my opinion. Um, so I bet this one is going to be really, really nice. The Sishke Killerwil. Really looking beautiful in my opinion. With a two finger white compact foam head. Which also is important to maintain all the way through. And you can see it doesn't disappear, which also is a quality sign. So this one is really, really high quality in my opinion. Um, high expectations of it, as I mentioned. Uh, let's get the aroma. They're really fresh. Real nice for being a killer wheel, this. Good example of the style feels the high quality ingredients. Um, raw materials, really, really nice. This is definitely a good one. It's easy to fill. Um, so, I'm really looking forward to try it. So, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Post. Really, really fantastic, of course. Of the typical Kelloville freshness, uh, as I really, really love from this beer style. It's amazing. That is a really, really great uh, Kelloville, typical Kelloville taste. The perfect balance between maltiness and the um, freshness, the hops. Everything is, is really, really great about this Kelloville, Sishke Kelloville. And uh, it's a big recommendation for me, really big recommendation. Something you absolutely should try, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> don't know how, um, how easy it is to find, but definitely something you must try. Um, because it's a really good kettle beer. Fantastic freshness in this one. <clears throat> Really, really pleasant to drink, easy to drink, and really, really nice. <sighs> yep, that's it. The um, Sishke Kellobir Original. Really, really great Kellobir. Um, fantastic in its taste all the way through, as I mentioned. Um, we got a really, really um, nice freshness and kettlebell taste. So uh, it's a big recommendation, as I mentioned. I had really high expectations of it and wasn't disappointed at all. Um, really nice to try this one. And of course, as I mentioned, definitely something you should check out. Um, I'll link to the brewer's website, read more about the brewery, this beer, um, and uh, keep your eyes open uh, for it. I had to travel to Germany to find it, of course, but it was worth the, the travel, uh, because it's, it's really great, and um, yeah, it will also fit in nice into my bottle collection, of course. Uh, with that said, I think that's it for now. Hope you... Um, Continue to follow my channel, that you like my reviews, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, there's always a lot of interesting German beers, beers that will be coming up in um, in the upcoming beer reviews. And um, yeah, I, I hope you like to watch my videos just as much as I like to do them. Because trying these different German beers that is absolutely the best ones in the world is, is really something that I like to do very much and like to record and share it uh, both for me but also for you um, and uh, yeah it's often blowing my mind how great these beers are I know that this that it's the best ones in the world but still getting this um, feeling that my uh, my view of how good these beer styles can be is still uh, being changed towards the better that's really, really great because the more German premium beers I drink, the more I like them. So 
I'm never gonna stop. Um, that's not my plan at least. Yeah, uh, that's it for now. Hope I see you again in the next German Bear Review.